What's going on everyone? Axelon here from Enthusiax.com back with more Deus Ex Human Revolution. We are continuing the Missing Link DLC. Machine pistol, I don't care. Hmm. There's events that the hacker guy over there told us to go to. Let's hack this super quick. What the? Okay, I'm just not gonna bother hacking the alarm system. Just gonna sneak on in. Okay, so I see a robot on the minimap, but it's not moving, so I don't think it's activated yet. And there's a camera there. And now the robot's activated. And now I'm gonna die. I died. Let's go this way this time. Ah, there's a guard there. I knew it. Stop fiddling around on your freaking iPad. Let's go. Ah, security hub, perfect. Hello, what are you guys looking at up here? Access granted. Okay, got two cameras. I'm not quite sure. Oh, this is the one outside where the ramp was. Oh, there's another terminal here, but it's unlocked. what I love about Deus Ex, like, every now and then you see, like, just random, like, emails, like, normal people would have. That one's talking about, like, different types of religious services for employees. That could be an issue. We have to kill this guy. It's the only way. I don't know where his buddy went though, and that worries me. His buddy's over there. Come here. He's just standing there. Not doing his job. Well, that's all he's doing. I'm gonna let him keep slacking off. Not worth risking a fight with this big thing here. Access granted. Cargo crew to 
Oh, I don't like that. I'm not sure what these things are. They don't look good. Maybe it's just the floor. I don't know. The floor does not look good. Gas canister. Need to get to that vent. Three available augmentations. Do I want to use them is the question. Do I want to use them on something else? Ah, it's just one. Oh, I was about to jump too. Oh, that turret did not see me. Good. Oh, we made it. That's far enough, Jensen. You? You were behind this? I said, that's far enough. I can explain everything if you just stay where you are. Last time we talked, you used me as a punching bag, and now you want a conversation? I didn't exactly have a choice. I had to make it look good, for Burke. Right now, he still thinks I'm on Beltar's side. But the minute he connects me to your escape... That's your problem, not mine. Then Dr. Megan Reed really doesn't mean anything to you, does she? What do you know about Megan? I know the name set off way too many bells and whistles when I added it to Burke's profile search on you. But it helped me to figure out who you are, and why you stowed away on the ship. You think Belltower kidnapped her, don't you? You want to tell me you didn't? I wish I could. But after what I've seen this past year, all I know for certain is she's not on the base. Not anymore. What's that supposed to mean? Not what you're thinking. Listen, Rifleman Bank Station supports all Bell Tower operations in this region, Jensen. Regular contract and special op. Six months ago, I received orders to pull every regular grade soldier and civilian contractor away from the airstrip. Two Black Hawk helicopters set down minutes later. I thought it had to do with Australia, especially when I saw covered stretchers coming out. How many? Five. Guarded by a heavily augmented special ops team. Burke went out to meet the leader and the whole group disappeared inside the detention camp. There's some kind of black project going on in there, Jensen. Something involving prisoners and scientists. And I need you to find out what it is. I'm gonna need more information than that. Tell me about this black project. I wish I could, but it's been classified. So classified, every BT suit I've talked to refuses to even acknowledge its existence. But you've seen something. Only the edges. This station is part base, part military stockade, and every week a new shipment of belligerents arrives. Only, Interpol says they're not on anyone's terrorist watch list. Most are just civs, harmless civs. Burke takes them into a restricted wing of the detention camp, and they just disappear. Okay. Tell me more about these scientists. Technically, I'm in charge of operations here, so I keep tabs on people coming in and out. Burke keeps meeting with doctors and researchers, telling me it's part of his interrogation technique. You got any names? 
None that I trust, unless the Doe family suddenly expanded into Australia and Asia. Thing is, I don't always see how they leave. Yet you're sure that Megan did? The Blackhawks did. Without the stretchers, but loaded with five stasis pods this time. Why me, Keitner? That is your name, isn't it? The one Burke used back on the ship? Natanya Keitner, yes. And it has to be you, because any movements I make are noted and logged. I can't risk blowing cover. Cover? Who are you working for? A few months ago, an Interpol agent approached me. They've had Bell Tower on their radar for some time, but they've never been able to prove anything. The things that agent pointed out about this base, it opened my eyes to a lot of things. So you see, Jensen, I really am playing the good cop and the bad cop. Fine. Fine. What do you need me to do? Hold still for a second. What the? Relax. I'm just compiling your biometric signature. Retinal scan, pulmonary and vascular imaging, the works. Once I upload it to the network and give Corporal Alan Tyler a security rating, you'll be able to pass through specific checkpoints in this sector. Only this sector? Why not others? Because you're a fugitive, Jensen. The less room I give you to maneuver in, the more likely it is you'll stay one. I can get you into the detention camp, but the interrogation wing is going to be a problem. Only Burke can give clearances for that. And I assume you don't want me to go ask for one. Still the comedian. There's a security mainframe inside the detention camp's central command tower. You'll need to upload this copy of your biometrics there by hand. Contact me using your infolink once you do. Any more questions? The guards in the prison complex, are they Burke's men or yours? Definitely Burke's. Highly trained, special operatives. So if you start a firefight in there, don't expect to live long. I'll keep that in mind. I'd like a little clarification here about you and Burke. I take it he outranks you. Technically, yes. But this station is only part military stockade. And while he and his unit have 100% control over the detention camp, I have authority over the base. So I don't need to worry that this is all just some creative attempt at mutiny. Mutiny? You think I'd risk so much because... Listen close, Jensen. Burke is a sexist, chauvinist pig. And yes, okay. he outranks me. He's also been in Bell Tower a lot longer than me, so he's got more connections. That, that was out Which of nowhere. Which he's used to undermine me at every turn. But that is not why you and I are standing here right now. People are getting hurt. Innocent people. And we have to find out why and expose it. Exposure could destroy Bell Tower. Bell Tower used to have honor. We do this right, it might again someday. I could use some more hardware. Any chance Corporal Tyler will have access to the armory? You're still a fugitive, Jensen. I suggest you keep a very low profile. Still, there is someone who might be able to supply you. One of the base mechanics, a civilian named Quinn. He runs a nice sideline in procurement. I know the type. Why should I trust him? Because I do. And because he has no love for Burke. He's in the lower level maintenance area, near the elevator. He'll get you what you need. That's all I need to know. Good. I'll upload to the security network from here, so get going. Alan Tyler will exist by the time you reach the prison security port. Just be careful, and try not to draw too much attention. Have you seen the way I work? No other way out. What are you doing? Probably uploading my profile, like she just said. Silly me. All right, what's this side quest? Inside help. Shootest monthly. Hello. Are you Quinn? Yeah, that's me. Jensen, is it? You weren't followed, were you? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I can believe that. They're having a hell of a time keeping up with you. I 
intend on keeping it that way. Well, you've certainly ruffled a few feathers higher up. It's not like they don't know you're here. Stowed away on the ship, I mean. It's only a matter of time before they bring the hammer down, put a stop to your gallivanting on the base. I just hope I'm not near you when the iron's hot and you're on the anvil. Look, Keitner said you can help me. Can you? Yeah, she told me to be expecting you. I'm just glad you came as soon as you did instead of going off on your own. There's enough kegs of powder lying around here already without throwing another loose cannon in the mix. You know how much we're risking to keep you off the radar? We've only got so much pull around here. It's Burke's show, and he'll do as he bloody well pleases, which means stamping out any rats the moment he gets wind of them. I'm grateful, but can we get on with it? I understand you run a nice little sideline in procurement. Aye. From time to time you might say of being inclined to do a little, uh, how should we call it? Bartering. On the side. Since the commander signed off on it, I suppose I could open my stock to you. For a price, that is. You mean I have to pay? What? Of course you have to bloody well pay. I ain't exactly a fucking army quartermaster down here. I'm just a civvy contractor trying to make ends meet. This ain't a bleeding charity. Considering the circumstances. Circumstances? What, that you're a fugitive and I'm risking my neck just talking to you? What are you trying to pull here? Although, I don't suppose you had anything to do with a stasis pod that was saved back on the ship. How do you know about that? Ah, so it was you, eh? Well, let's just say I have my sources and your little random act of kindness didn't go unnoticed. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount on me wares. Just no freebies or handouts. But now that I think of it, if you're looking for a little something for nothing and don't mind a little legwork, I've got an errand I could use running. Consider it a special offer of sorts. You interested? Ah, a side quest in the DLC quest. All right, tell me about this special offer. Look, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but this base is packing some serious heat, especially in the form of those walking brick shithouse boxcars. If you get me a few odds and ends, I might be able to whip up a little something to make getting around easier, if you catch my meaning. What kind of something are we talking about here? Nothing fancy. Just a 329 series MPRS. A rocket launcher? Uh? That's right, mate. And custom built. But yours truly, of course. You see, while I might be able to get my fingers on some low-level arms, I'm a little restricted when it comes to military-grade bells and whistles. I'm itching to try out a new trigger propulsion mix. Maybe even recalibrate the guidance system for some extra punch. I'm not convinced jury-rigged explosives are exactly my style. Look, I'm not telling you how to do your job or anything, but... You might want to consider carrying a little extra insurance while you're here. Look, all you gotta do is find me some components, and I'll do the rest. An earlier boat had a shipment of 329s, but I wasn't able to poach any of them before they made it to the armory. Luckily, a little sparrow in my employ managed to lose one through maintenance circulation, but he got himself shit can before I could collect. Now my little butte's lying around the base somewhere in bloody pieces. The launcher, I mean, not the wee man. Though, I have no idea really happened to him. Right, so, long story short, you need me to find the parts and bring them back to you. Yeah, that about sums it up, I'd say. Just find me the trigger module, scope assembly, and launch a barrel, and we're in business. I could scrape up the rest from leftovers here in the shop. I'll see what I can find. Any idea where they are? If I knew that, I would have picked them up myself. You're just gonna have to make do and keep your nose to the ground. Check the obvious places first, like the cargo and receiving areas. Worst case, someone found one of the parts and brought it to administration. I looked there last. Got it. That means one's there. What can you tell me about this base? Nothing you don't know, probably. To the outside world, it's a bell tower, naval logistics headquarters, and supply point for their Pacific operations. Beneath the surface, though, it's much, much more. How so? Look, nothing personal yet, but I prefer the commander do most of the informing. As far as I'm concerned, the less I know, and more importantly, the less I say in this matter better off we all are. Tell me about the commander, Keitner. Lieutenant commander, officially. But the grunts don't pay no mind to that. She's the commander as far as they're concerned. It's the Reds who stick to the formalities, you see. Because they're Burke's boys. The Spooks. Special operations. You might say there's a bit of a... division of loyalty among the troops. Between Keitner's men and Burke's? Aye. Since time immortal, there's always been a rivalry of sorts between grunts and Spooks. I always assumed it came down to Ego, but it's different here. Probably because Burke's different. What do you mean? Well, for a start, the man might be a righteous prick, but he's got the respect of his man. A 
And the higher-ups think he's a visionary based on some fancy tank he drummed up a few years back. In other words, the man's got a lot of influence and a lot of power, and, uh... Well, I don't think that old proverb needs repeating here. What exactly do you do here, Quinn? In a more civilized world, you might say I pass for the base's lead maintenance engineer. But if you look at it from Baltar's point of view, I might as well just be a glorified janitor. Pay's good, though, so, you know, not complaining. If the pay is good, why the underground market? Well, why not? You see, civilian contractors operate under different jurisdiction when it comes to bringing outside goods into the base. So while the rank and file grunts can only order and receive essentials, toothpaste and the like, I, being the entrepreneurial chap that I am, from a more uh, robust catalogue of goods and services. You know the sort. Smokes, beverages and uh, gentlemen's literature. How does this involve weapons? Now, now let me finish. As an enterprising fellow, I require an exchange of valuables for these slightly less than essential supplies, and often receive some very non-civilian contractor regulated equipment in exchange, if you catch me drift. Now, normally, I launder my stock through a contact on the mainland, but a deal in Shanghai recently fell through, so lucky for you, I've got some excess inventory to move. Consider this whole arrangement uh, a matter of fortunate timing. And Keitner is okay with all of this? Uh, not exactly. You see, some time ago, the commander got wind of my little operation down here. But before she could throw me in the brig, I offered her something I knew she couldn't refuse. Information. I ain't bragging, but uh, I'd managed to build myself quite a little network of sparrows and gophers. I'd known for a while that she'd been at odds with that prick Burke. In the end, we reached a rather simple mutual agreement. I keep her in the loop, and she keeps my neck out of the noose, so to speak. Okay... No money back guarantee or warranty. You break it, you buy it. the wall Should be safe behind here. Access granted. Australian conflict set to escalate. Biochip recall causes more than headaches. Peaceful cues have begun erupting into violent riots at limb clinics worldwide. Ah, uh, code for the door. Ah, there's someone close by. Found the scope assembly. Ah, shit. How do I get past these guys? I can't. Laser gates on both sides. No, no panel to hack. Wait, there is a panel to hack. Access granted. this cable duct and which conveniently leads me to the security hub which is unlocked
Burke's spare retinal prosthesis. Geithner, any reason Burke's got a spare retinal prosthesis lying around his office? He just received it this evening from the Tai Young Medical Corporation. HQ had a custom set made especially for him as a thanks for so many years of good service. Why? He'll probably be real angry when he realizes it's missing. Jensen out. Secret stash. Oh, that's either I'm not, let me save. Could be an alarm. Burke's revolver. All right, let's get some more storage. Can't take this anymore. Ooh, it's shiny and gold. One of a kind special firearm was a gift to Burke from the CEO of Mustang Ad Tech for saving his life. I can't take that upgrade out, can I? Damn. Two, three. Oh, that's with the explosive upgrade, though. Oh, that looks nice. And now we're going to steal all his liquor. Or... Apparently, just the one bottle is good enough for Adam Jensen. Ah! Oh, it's you. Right. So, what's the story? What are you buying? There we go. Oh, wait. Damn it. It already has a laser sight. Drink my sorrows away for that wasted money. 